Welcome back to the Comics Cube for another edition of Comics Techniques and Tricks. And today we will be talking about the maestro Jose Luis Garcia Lopez and the way that he breaks panels. Jose Luis Garcia Lopez is almost definitely known for uh, being the artist behind the DC comic style guide of the 1980s, which has guided the look of DC for, you know, ever since then. So all of this stuff, the stuff that you see on lunchboxes, on merchandise, on bags, uh, most of it was designed by Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, or at least modeled after the sheets that he's used or designed for DC Comics. Uh, but it is really criminal to me that he's not as well known for his interior comics work. So recently I had Peter Hogan, um, co-writer of The Many Worlds of Tesla Strong with Alan Moore uh, f f on my on my channel for an interview. And uh, this is the cover for that. It's drawn by Art Adams. Uh, within this particular issue, Tesla Strong goes to uh, various worlds uh, and each world is drawn by a different artist. Uh, there is a world in which Tesla Strong meets a very superheroic counterpart named Tesla Terrific. And it is drawn by Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. This is a very, very uh, simple uh, simple sequence uh, showing both Tesla Strong and Tesla Terrific. Tesla Terrific is the one on the left. Uh, Tesla Strong is the one on the right. Uh, as you'll notice, it's really just one image, but there's two, panel, uh, two panels in it, including one gutter. As you can see here, uh, the, the gutter in between kind of shows the sequence. So we know that Tesla Terrific is talking first and then Tesla Strong is talking next it also prevents you from doing this from going from this word balloon in fact out in the world pretty much everybody is what we'd call bad to tesla strong's word balloon i might have to i'm looking for my gorilla and he could be anywhere uh without that uh gutter you might be tempted to go from left to right um this this balloon then this balloon then this balloon trust me and finally this balloon on the lower right with the gutter you're reading both of tesla terrifics uh, ba balloons first. In fact, on the world, pretty much everybody is what you'd call bad. Trust me, you really don't want to end up on the B side. And then you go to Tesla Strong. The other thing that this does is that it enables Jose Luis Garcia Lopez to put Tesla Terrific on the outside of this scene. So it's almost like the panel is actually in between the two of them. And it gives you an added sense of perspective. So Tesla Terrific is not only uh, on the left side of the screen and in the foreground she is actually outside of the panel pointing inside the panel where tesla strong is so uh, it adds a sense of depth let's look at another page later on so this one is kind of mind-blowing to me because he uses um he uses a minimal number of figures to create a, uh, multiple images so for example you got this particular image of tesla terrific here in the middle, upper, uh, the upper center, um, and then this image of Tesla Strong on the center right or the right center. Now, if you'll see here, panel one, Tesla terrific. Once again, right? She's outside. She's outside of the panel borders, and you can see she's actually taking up two panels here. You got panel panels one and panel uh, three, but because she's outside panel one, Tesla Strong in the background is able to talk to her so that's panel one and then you go to panel two where tesla terrific is using her terrific vision um and then panel three is just a shot of uh, millennium city in tesla terrific's world uh, but the rest of panel three is actually still again tesla terrific it's the same figure from panel one so by drawing tesla terrific big outside the panels he's able to use the same figure in two different panels. And it's actually three different panels because panel four is Tesla Strong looking up at Tesla Terrific. So this is now a fourth image, but in three of those images, the image of Tesla Terrific is the same exact image. And that's all accomplished uh, by Jose Luis Garcia Lopez just putting Tesla Terrific outside of the panel borders. Uh, then you got panel five, um, it's a very straightforward panel. Uh, where the two of them are just talking to each other. And finally, you have panel six, where now Tesla Terrific is saying goodbye to Tesla Strong. So you can see here, uh, she's saying goodbye. Once again, it's the same trick from uh, uh, the slide before, 
uh, where Tesla Terrific is on the outside of the panel, uh, weaving into Tesla Strong on the inside of the panel. Um, and then it adds a little sense of depth and also kind of shows that, you know, kind of emphasizes the portal, uh, which is within Tesla Strong's panel. Um, but the other thing that this does is because Tesla Strong was drawn in full figure here on panel four, you can, you know, it it still gives off the impression that there is a full image here of this, this Tesla Terrific and this Tesla Strong. So it's kind of another image uh, coming from this Tesla Strong in panel four to this Tesla Terrific in technically panels one and three. So multiple images with a minimal number of characters. Uh, that's Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. Um, and he's been doing this. So this came out in the mid 2000s. Um, and he's actually been doing this um, since forever. This kind of thing since forever. So in uh, the 1970s, uh, Superman versus Wonder Woman, the all new collector's edition. This was written by uh, Jerry Conway, who, whom I've also had on the show. Um, and this is uh, this is a fight between the Earth 2 Superman and the Earth 2 Wonder Woman, the battle you thought you'd never see. Uh, it is inked by Dan Adkins. This is a page from inside it where the two of them will fight. So again, panel one, you can see it's a very straightforward panel of Wonder Woman about to attack Superman. There is actually now one from here, removing this first figure of Wonder Woman and this first figure of Superman in the foreground. There are now one, two, three, four, five Wonder Woman and Supermans on this particular page. Um, but again, removing the first panel, one, two, three, four panels. So there's one more set of figures than there are panels. And the reason that this really works is because once again, he's drawing them outside of the panels. He's drawing them in between the panels. So here's Wonder Woman crossing over. Uh, from panel one to panel two, attacking Superman. And then she's flipping him. She's flipping over. She's, she's putting him down, flipping him over, again, crossing over panel two. And then panel three, um, in between panel uh, three and four, uh, she is flipping him over. And then finally, in between panels four and five, she's you know, picking him up. And then finally, in the final scene, throwing him. This is the only really straightforward panel, the, the bottom one. And it's the biggest one. It's the money shot. Uh, it's actually not all that straightforward because he does that thing again where he's breaking out of the panels. But if you take a look at it, the thing that this does by moving them in between and outside of the panels is it provides a sense of pace. So there is a uniform pacing to the first four panels uh, because they're all the same size. They're all the same shape. And then it all builds up to this one final panel. So basically what this, is, what this is saying is that in the time it takes Wonder Woman to throw Superman outside the window is the time it took her to actually make this move where she picks him up to begin with. And now what you have here is a, is a very, very uh, expedited sense of pace simply because she's moving through the panels, uh, outside the panels very quickly. And that gives us uh, a, a sense of urgency uh, when looking at this page it it's it would hit differently if he had if he had drawn it within the panels themselves uh, because they are outside of the panels uh, it moves more quickly than than you would expect uh, and that is jose luis garcia lopez uh, breaking panels and borders and playing with convention this is Comics Techniques and Tricks from the Comics Cube. Click like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Did I miss anything? Thank you.